The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the terrific Thursday, the October 28th edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. We need to make that one little two by four shift. It means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is tossing at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check out the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what the bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I do want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877 927 6648. If you can't dial in, I want you to know we've got you covered there too. You can always go ahead and send me an email. Send it to Steve at TFNN.com. And inside that subject heading, if you would be kind enough to put radio show question and in our Tiger's Den, well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Thursday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, I've got all the U.S. indices trading to the upside. The Dow's up 155, S&P 32, NASDAQ 129, Russell's up 37, semis are up 60, trannies are up 164. So the two areas that you're going to really want to watch today are going to be the close of the semis and the NDX. Um, yeah, the NDX, because if they close above yesterday's high, then their topping signals will have been negated, and that should be a sign that uh, they're getting ready to motor on higher. So watch today's close. Uh, as you know, I believe most of you know, uh, we've got Apple reporting after the bell. So we're certainly going to take a look in on those charts out here. Uh, I kind of screwed up a little bit uh, during that uh, 1 o'clock update. So real quickly, again, what type of market are we trading in? Well, we're really trading in consolidations or consolidations that are have or are getting ready to break out. So we've got two that have given us a signal of a breakout. That's the ES Mini, that's your upper right-hand chart, and the uh, Dow Equity Future Contract, that's your lower chart. So yesterday, at this stage here, it was a one-hit wonder. It's a one-day pullback, and that pullback, which is what you would typically want to see, not, not necessarily a one-day pullback, but you typically see when price breaks out of a consolidation, you like to see price come back and test and reject that. So in those two instances, they have done that. Now, if they can close above their highs out here, their recent highs, they'll negate the topping signals that are out there. And that would be a, uh, another bullish signal that price will then go target the measured move. Those are the yellow lines, both to the upside and to the downside out here. So what the ES and the Dow are waiting for certainly would be the NQ getting ready to join that party. It would love the Russell 2000 to join the party. Does Russell 2000 have to join it? No, um, but likely it would. So the NQ, again, if it closes above yesterday's high, by the way, yesterday's high for the NQ, just so I can give you that number out here, that is going to be 15,717.50. You're at 15,709 right now. So it closed above that today, negates the pattern. What happens if it doesn't close above it today? Well, if it closed above it tomorrow, you'd have that same outcome. If it doesn't close above it today, then you have a topping signal that has held. Now, if we take, it's really kind of all, so what are the problems inside the NQ? Is there any problems that we see out here? And that's a good question. So we're going to take a look at both the bearish side. And when I say bearish side, I'm not referring to bearish, you know, 25% correction. I'm just talking directionally speaking out here. So as we take a look at the uh, NQ as it approaches a resistance area, the top of its uh, consolidation level, the only issue that I see out here is that um, the QQEW, that's the upper chart out here, has not taken out its highs. 
whereas in the case of the equal weighted, it has. So what does that tell us? Well, first of all, when you see divergences like this, they always offer caution. You really want to understand what is the message of the equal weight. If the equal weight is trading at new all-time highs, in order for it to do that, it has to trade above 117.78. Today's high, as an example, has been 116.54. So this is a caution sign. It's not a go back up the truck and short it. It's a caution sign. Why is it just a caution sign? Well, because what this is also telling us is that the weighted instruments inside the NDX 100, they're the ones that have been able to lift the markets higher. And not until we see tops in those uh, instruments out there uh, will we will will this equal weighted divergence signal have any meaning. That was a mouthful out there, and I probably confused the heck out of you. And if I did, um, my apology. But what I was really trying to say, which was the chart that I was showing as we began that one o'clock segment, was let's go take a look at the top eight instruments inside the NDX 100 that represent over 51% of the weighting in there. That's right, eight instruments that represent over 50%. That means the other 92 plus instruments out there don't mean a thing if they ain't got that swing. Well, they do have meaning, but these are the ones. So we know that Apple is coming out with earnings tonight. Well, if we take a look at Apple, if you're asking me, do we have a topping signal? Well, then the answer is we do right now. What is that? That is called that seventh inning stretch. That is in honor of the World Series that is out there. And it's always funny to call it a World Series when most of the world doesn't participate, but it's still the World Series, and I love it. Uh, you know, just just saying, but if we take a look at Apple out here, it did get to that wave number seven. Now, that can't be confirmed until you see a lower high, which will be tomorrow, but there's the possibility of a, a top inside of Apple, whereas this morning we didn't have that out there, but we do now that price has taken out the prior high. As far as resistance, so that could be, could be, could be, not saying sell Apple out here. Uh, if Apple does move lower, the place where it should find support is that green oscillator and change line. And that's in the 147 and change level. The bottom of its profile is 146.71. The resistance level for Apple is 155.48. It's only three bucks uh, from where it's trading right now. So if after hours we see Apple trading above 155.48, that'll be a okay. It's ready to head higher, even though it's got that wave number seven out there. But uh, it would be taking out a significant level of resistance. So Apple's got the potential of a topping signal. How about my Microsoft, not a chance, not a chance out here. It's bullish. There's no topping signals out here. Yesterday's gap to the upside, big move, kind of a wide ranging bar for it. So it looks like it wants to continue to head higher. Amazon is taking out the resistance of its sell the D point. That sell the D point firm con confirmed with this little uh, bearish engulfing candle. The high of that candle is resistance. The high of that candle is 34.62.86. You're at 34.70 right now. And also at that 34. 6286 level is the top of its bear structured profile. So if Amazon closes above that, that tells us it wants to continue to move higher. That would certainly not be bearish out here. Tesla is anything but bearish right now. Not that it couldn't form a TD9 count top, it just hasn't done that today. And it needs to close, at least at least not close, it needs to tick above the high from two days ago. Perhaps Tesla is going to form a TD9 count, perhaps not, but perhaps it will. And that says it could do it tomorrow on Friday. Which, by the way, uh, join me early, 8 o'clock sharp. Well, really, I think 8.06 sharp out there is I'm going to record tomorrow's show between 8 and 9, just as I've been doing for about the last uh, six Fridays out there. So please join me live for that. But that show will be re repeated during the 1 o'clock uh, time frame. But Tesla, no topping signal. Google, no topping signal. A new A to B equals CD to the upside. NVIDIA does have a TD9 count pattern. That could suggest to move back to 230, Facebook is trying to bottom. Just doesn't generate that bottom well, we'll have to see at the end of the day. And Adobe, Adobe does want to pull back and just test that green oscillator and change line at about the 625 level. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. Would love to hear from you. Give us a call at 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago. And the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019 finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. You got all the U.S. indices trading to the upside. We've got a caller on the line. It's Brent in Martinez, California. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing great as always, Steve. It's nice to talk to you. I hope you're doing well. I am, thanks. So I was thinking about you on uh, Sunday evening, I believe it was, when they were the, uh, the the 49ers game was on and there was just a gigantic torrential rain that was going on there. So I have to imagine that impacted you. What? Uh, or uh, yeah, I mean you're you're in that area. So uh, any any problems uh, that that uh, posed? I mean, I did see a few landslides, so to speak, out there. But uh, you're good in your area. Yeah, no, that was a blessing, honestly. For I'm sure there's people that were affected by that. Yeah, but we certainly needed it, and it came through big. It's uh, I told you we have a creek, you know, on the yes, back of right. our property that was down, really desperate looking, and it's back up there. It's flowing good. Matter of fact, it was a big, <laughs> it was a good size. I'd say it was at least 500 pounds, probably more. I had a tree back there, Monterey pines, which are kind of notorious for not surviving they they have a problem with a bark beetle okay and uh even though it's probably a i don't know the tree is probably 50 60 years old it just uh if if those beetles get in there okay. they just they basically draw all the sap out of them and they just they turn brown and they die yeah. well and so that's what happened that tree i had to have it cut down well it was right on the edge there's like a little peninsula that goes out Okay. There and that was on that part of the the you know where that's where it sat, and so when they cut it down, I guess there's a piece of it ended up down the creek. There's no way they're going to haul it out of there, and so they just left it down there, it's and the creek got up dam enough volume that it that it pushed that whole thing. I mean, it's gone. It's off my property. Oh, now. okay. I don't know cool, where it's cool. probably, it's probably out in the bay somewhere. I don't know where it ended up, but not in my yeah. yard anymore. So. 
No, water is a powerful, uh, powerful natural, um, you know, thing, so to speak, for sure. But uh, well, glad, glad, that, glad, that, glad that you're okay, which is what a, a torrential rain uh, that was. Uh, I was caught in a rain like that on Saturday playing golf, and, and the guys I was with, they're like, no, let's keep playing. I've never been so wet in my life. <laughs> And after about after about four or five holes of that, I said, "You guys can keep playing. I'm I'm going in." But anyway, you called to talk about Vale Valley. I'm not sure the I think maybe Valley is the V A L E is a ticker symbol. You folks. sound like me. That's that's the what I do with this when I'm trying to pronounce it. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not it's me, one or the other. I know that. So uh, or maybe we're both wrong. But uh, uh, so tell me what you're doing here and how I can best help you. I did buy into this. It had that. Uh, Low, I put in, it was like 1280, it was the low, so a little off of that. Yeah. Um, if you take the high, I believe it was July 29th, it would be the A point. And then I don't have all the different, like where the B point, whatever, you can see it from that A yeah, point. Yeah, absolutely. Kind of clearly absolutely. see it. And I think it did less than a 382 retracement, and it came down and put in that low. And I think it's a little more than a one to one down there. And it's, I think it's a little bit of a wick at the top of that, but basically a little hammer candle there at that low. <laughs> Correct. Just wanted to get Correct. your thoughts on, you know, what, I'm sure there's areas above and have to be watching. And I think actually they come out the earnings after the close today. So I have my stop in, kind of blow that area if it, if it fails. So. Perfect. Okay. So you really got two two bottoming signals here. One was the A to B equals CD, a 1 to 1.272 pattern. And so that day that was a hammer candle. This is where it always gets confusing to me because it was both a bullish and a bearish candle. A bearish candle because it was a gap to the downside. A bullish candle because it turned out to be a hammer candle. So those are always confusing to me as to what do you really mean out there. Uh, but let's still go with it as being a hammer candle because it was. So I can't take that away from it. And the second pattern was that Rhodes Mintum indicator signal. Uh, so that's the positive out there. And from a trade standpoint, I, I would think that if you saw a price close below the low of that can, uh, hammer session, you know, you'd probably go ahead and, and exit the trade, or at least it would tell you no bottom just yet. And, you know, says price could go lower. As to lower, if we take a look at the weekly time frame chart out here, no bottom there, no bottom signal. We do have an oscillator and change line that had changed colors recently, so that can slow down the move out here. And basically, since that took place, we've seen more of a sideways to slightly lower move out here. But if that hammer candle doesn't hold, if that bottom pattern fails, then, Brent, the next area we'd be looking at is about $10.39. That is the breakout level on the weekly time frame. The breakout level on the monthly time frame is at 981 out there. So those are the signals that I see for those time frames. Uh, if I look to the 30 minute chart here real quickly, see what happened. When this bottom back of that hammer candle, at about 2.30 in the afternoon, you got to a TD9 count bottom. That was on October 21st. And then price made a A to B equal CD to the upside. Now it's making, um, well, it's got a TD9 count bottom. So it did that at about 10 o'clock this morning. That low has been pierced, but it hasn't been closed below. And you had another hammer candle that joined the party at 12 noon. Now, folks, we're just looking at 30-minute time frame charts out here. So if this is the bottom, let's say, in Valley for its 30-minute time frame, we should see price take out its oscillator and change line, about 1330, and then a move up to the 1371 level. And you'd like to see price close above that. So that's what I see on the short-term time frame. Back to the daily out here, you do have a brand-new profile that uh, formed. Uh, now, it, it formed a couple of days ago. So the support area here that you're also watching, Brent, is 1309. And then the resistance zone, the sell zone, is between 1452 and 1473. So from a daily standpoint, that's what you're really looking for price to move above. Now, price is back inside that hammer candle. That hammer candle back on October 21st did volume of 75 million shares. Today's volume is 17 million shares. So the ideal trade here for those that are listening in that are considering saying, hey, I want to follow Brent. That's pretty much everybody. Uh, the rejection is what you're looking for, and that would be a close above the top of that hammer candle, and that's at 1461. Do you need to have that happen for it to show bottom? No, because that hammer candle already had the bottom signal, but that would just be another level of a test and rejection of a uh, swing point out there. So I know that was a mouthful, um, but uh, you know, you're, you're very adept at this stuff, so pretty easy for you to follow along what other information what questions may have been posed in going through that information for any of those time frames no that was great i'm glad that you went over potential areas if it doesn't hold because that's why i have that stopping so if it were to 
you know, not hold that level, then I'd be wanting to look at it at lower price. And you gave me those levels, so that, that's helpful. I was kind of hoping to get that too. Perfect, perfect. So it's got a chance for romance for sure, and it's nice now that you've got the uh, the bottom of that profile. We I wish it was a bullish profile instead of a bearish profile, but it is support, and so you've got really two levels to be watching: the low of the hammer candle and that thirteen oh nine, the bottom of its daily profile out there. All right. That's great, Steve. Thank you so much. And yeah, it was nice to actually get that rain. That helped a lot, I and mean, that was enough to. We probably got. I don't know, eight to ten inches out of that storm. Yeah, it's probably the longest I've ever, longest stretch. I think it rained for like thirty hours straight, basically without a pause. Well, I uh, hope some of that rain or some of that water gets over into Lake Mead, over in in uh, in in the Las Vegas area. Nevada. I don't know. Yeah. You know, <laughs> You know that water level. You know, I used to uh, years ago when I had bunch of, a bunch of retail stores in the uh, casinos out there. Um, you know, I used to on the weekends I would go over to Lake Mead, and even then, you know, the water level. And this goes back now, probably about 15 years ago at least. The water levels were coming down, so hopefully they got some rain. In any event, Brett, we're about to go to a hard break here. So great to talk to you as always. I look forward to speaking to you again soon. That was Brent in Martinez, California. Folks, we'd love to hear from you as well. 877-927-6648. We'll go take a look at goalie locks for John in the Den as soon as we get back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational web for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, uh, folks. We're going to take a look at gold uh, for John at the Tiger's Den. His question is basically, past five days, gold is stalled. Uh, what technical resistance is there in your workout here? Well, first, let's answer the reason why price is stalled, or the likely reason. Remember, when that oscillator and change line changes colors, as it did for gold back here in the trading day of uh, the 25th, so it's changing on the 22nd and the 25th, and what we've seen since then is just to move sideways. And what we typically see, the outcome there is a test of that uh, oscillator and change line. Now, when it changes color from red to green a test and rejection of that level is very bullish out here um as price actually tested it you know yesterday was close was no cigar may have been a test but um but that's the reason why we've seen the stalling and now today what you have john is you've got a new profile so you asked the question about resistance and so that resistance level is going to be the top of this profile and that's at 1815 we didn't have that during the last couple of days but that profile has formed so that's an area to watch as we take a look at our four panel chart here for gold these are the four future contracts out here the one we're trading is december that's over on the left hand side i'm just simply going to expand it out so we're all looking at the same thing and what we can see here is you can also see a descending trend line and the descending trend line this descending trend line you can draw this on your system i'm starting with the high out here from june the first and then just simply going ahead and tagging the high out here from the trading day of October 22nd. Uh, we can see that uh, today's move higher ran into resistance there. Another trend line that I'm using is from September 3rd. And then I'm using the high of that uh, shooting star candle from October 22nd. And so, um, and that's also at the 1815 level. So there's trend line, there's profile. Uh, there's we're waiting for the test of the oscillator and change line. I mean, there's a number of reasons. Now, is is this bullish or bearish? I consider this to be bullish at this stage, um, but it's going to have to prove itself to us. There's one, a couple other levels out here with regard to uh, gold that we can take a look at. Is that uh, yeah? And that's at the uh, that's at the. Uh, Three River Evening Star, that's a bearish reversal candle. That took place on the trading session of the October 1st. The um, I'm sorry, it wasn't October 1st. It was October 13th, the 14th, and the 15th out there. So 180190 is a resistance level. Price is traded 1803. If price can get through that, there's a bearish shooting star candle, and that's at the 181550 level. That's the candle session from October 22nd. So these are the, just simply the resistance levels. These are the tug of wars. These are the battles that are ongoing. And if price can clear these levels, then it's off to the races. Now, the races out here are probably about 1838. Before price gets to 1838, no, 1836.50, if we want to be exact, that's the high from September 3rd. And 1838.70 is the top of that weekly profile. The price can clear that level, then we should see a move to about 1866, uh, and that would be the uh, setup. To the downside, what you really would be watching is 1774.60, the bottom of that bullish structured weekly profile. Now, last week on Friday, we had a close above the center. That was 1790. If we close above 1790.60 again tomorrow, two consecutive closes are going to really suggest that run to 1838. So, John, I hope that helps you out with regard to gold. The logical reasons why price is struggling where it's at because of the sellers and they you know have shown their hands to us and now we just have to wait to see who's going to win this battle at this stage here my uh, money is riding on goldilocks to win the battle but only time will tell let me take a quick peek here folks no other questions in the den see if i've got anything by email there was a question that did come in i don't know where it was from but that's okay we don't need to know it was from t-r-i-t t-r-i-t is the symbol out here that is tri terrace tri inc hey anybody see uh, venus in the uh, sky uh not last night but the night before Oh, man, what? I, ca I cannot believe how bright uh, Venus was the uh, the other night. I mean, whew, uh, it looked like it was nearby in any event. It was nearby. So if we're looking at TRIT, Tri Terrace Inc., uh, quite a day out here, uh, quite a day for buyers and sellers. Uh, now, the, the buying took place at a low of about, well, let me see. Because this is a gigantic move out here, uh, unless I've got a bad tick, and I don't think I have a bad tick. But it went from a low this morning at 693 to a high of 951. I can't do the percentage math. 
in my head that 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 quickly out here. But that's a gigantic percentage move. But now prices trade at 737. Now what I don't know is what the question is. But here's what we do know: price ran in resistance. That was the top of its weekly profile, 817. Yeah, price got above it. But what you really need to see in order for trit to be in a breakout type mode, you've got to see a close of eight dollars and seventeen cents out there. Now you got big volume behind the move, so I don't know what they've cured, but price should be able to get back up to test today's high. When that I don't know, but it should be able to get back up there. On a daily time frame, uh, do I have oh there's a bunch of other resistance levels. There are TD9 breakdown areas at 809, 816, 794. Uh, so that's the resistance level. Uh, looking at a long-term chart, longer-term chart for this monthly or weekly, I should say, is um, this this bottom with a TD nine? No, it did not. Uh, well, let me see here. One quick second. That low, 497. That low. Oh yeah. So it did bottom with a, a TD nine count pattern out here. Uh, that's on the weekly time frame chart, but resistance is resistance, and that's at the 817 mark. Now, today's going to be bar number seven on a weekly basis, so this could form some type of intermediate term top within the next three weeks out there. Uh, other than that, I don't have much uh, much to uh, much to uh, share with you on uh, on this instrument. If we looked at a real quick short term time frame chart, nah, not really anything there to uh, focus on. So I uh, wish I could provide more information for the ticker symbol TRIT, but it is what it is. Fletch wants to take a look at skills and SKLZ, or those Skittles out there. I, know, I haven't had Skittles. I know they're popular. And this time of year, in those trick-or-treat bags, I think uh, most of the kids get a lot of Skittles out here. So we're going to go take a look at Skittles via SK. LZ, that is uh, Skills Inc. Now, Skills Inc. is trading above the top of its daily profile flex. So, where's it headed to next? You're exactly right. It's headed to $12.18. $12.18 is the top of its slightly bearish structured weekly profile. So, a close above that would be a very positive thing. Let's, uh, Stevie, get SK, SK, yep, not, oh my goodness gracious, SKLZ. One of these days, I'll learn how to type. I just want to get on my white background charts, the daily and the weekly time frame, see if there's any kind of signals out here for Fletch and the Tiger's Den. Happens to be the 30-minute uh, chart that popped up on my screen. So you could see a short-term top out here uh, between uh, 2 and 3 o'clock. You only see that if price gets above, just has a spike above, 11.66. Well, geez, you're 11.65 right now. So you got the potential for a TD9 count top on a short-term basis. Now, back to the daily. The daily happens to have a TD9 count top as well. And price that formed right at its TD9 breakdown level, and that was at 11.29. But price is trading above that right now. So what you're really looking for here is a close above the high from two days ago, 11.75. If you get that, Fletch, that says long and strong. That Problem is long and strong up to twelve dollars and fifty three cents because that's also another TD nine breakdown level. A close above that, back to long and strong. Long and strong there would take you to fourteen sixty. And so those are your battlegrounds. Your first battleground right now is going to be the high from two days ago. And that's that TD nine threshold resistance level, and that's up at the eleven seventy five area. Above that, you're looking at twelve fifty three, and above that, you're likely looking at fourteen sixty nine. At least that's from the daily charts out here. The weekly charts are saying, hey, man, I want to get to 2234 or 2403. Steve Rhodes with TFN. That was Skittles, really SKLZ, for Fletch in the Tiger's Den. We'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. 
LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. So Joe wants to take a look at Snap, Crackle, and Pop. And boy, did it uh, pop to the downside a few days ago. Uh, so Joe goes on. He says, I bought Snap today below 54 bucks. It's trading at 53.90 right now. Do you see it? Uh you see it visiting the recent high, 57.18 by next week. Well, we got to find some type of uh, bottoming uh, signal for you. So let's uh, take a look at the snap. Let's first make sure we have the bigger picture and play out here. So snap is below all support levels daily and weekly. When I say all support levels, I'm referring to the TAS market profiles. And so if you're wondering where Snap could head to, well, the top of its monthly profile is $31.87. It's at 53.84 right now. So keep that in mind. Now let's go see if we can see any kind of bottoming signals here for Joe on the daily time frame. As we take a look at the daily time frame, let's populate it. And uh, we see uh, not a zilch, nothing. There is support between 49.97 and 51.16 so you're long if i saw a close below 49.97 and i uh, probably want to get out of dodge that would be about a five dollar loss to you so hopefully you've got the proper position sizing today is an inside bar on the daily time frame joe and an inside bar if that's how it completes i don't know if it will or it won't but we're speaking about 143 in the afternoon in inside bars the meaning that they typically have there's not 100 percent anything the only 100 percent guarantee you can get here during the one to two o'clock hours i'm going to give you my best I, I that much i guarantee you but an inside bar typically says that the current trend will resume well that trend is to the downside now that downside trend might take it to 51.16 49.97 we look at the weekly time frame so that's the forces so far in the daily time frame the weekly time frame says hey joe i don't know what you're talking about because i'm headed to 37.35 so again that makes the low of the 
you know, of this instrument over the past few days, a really critical area to watch and observe. On a monthly time frame, month, of course, is not over, but it says, hey, I like the price of 47.92. That's where it broke out on a monthly basis. So 47.92, I think, is a key area. If it were closed below that, you know, that spells trouble in River City. Now, you're, of course, a short-termer out here and looking for, hey, where can price trade up to? And you're wondering about the 57 level. Hey, at 55.23 on a 15-minute basis, you've got some significant resistance there. So that's a level to be watching if price does move higher. The 30-minute time frame generated a TD9 count and a Roads Momentum Indicator bottom. Those are still in play. They're saying 5601 to 50... 50 what? 50... Okay, I even can't read that. 56.43. So you're looking for 57.18. I would lower those estimates. Uh, it sounds to me like you're probably in some type of options trade. Uh, does it have a chance to get to the 56.01 level where there is a new 30-minute pro? Oh, that's the 30-minute chart that we're looking at. That's, that's fine. 54.26 is the level you're looking for price to get above if you can. 56.01. The only reason why we're focused on these short-term time frame charts is because the daily, weekly, and monthly are saying, snap not getting ready for prime time. But on the 65-minute chart, you got a Rose Momentum Indicator signal. Resistance, your battlegrounds are going to be 54.67, 55.17, and 55.68. You clear that, you're in a pretty good uh, spot. 130-minute chart out here, no bottom just yet. Uh, well, I take that back. It did confirm a Rose Momentum Indicator bottom on that prior candle. So that's a short term. So here, we're going to answer your question this way. Yeah, there's a possibility and it does look like in the short term, uh, this should continue higher out here. The levels I'd be concerned about are 5601 and 5643 at the moment. So I hope that helps you out, uh, Joe. And again, looks just like a very short term time frame trade. We've got some other questions that have come in. Thank you to everybody that's doing that. Let me get rid of all the trash that is in here. It doesn't take long. I don't know how many emails, folks, you get, but phew. I can't slow these things down, unfortunately. But Hector and the fuel injector wants to take a look at Facebook out here. So let me get this off my screen. That's Snap. Let me pull that off the screen. Let's go get those white charts populated. While at the same time, let's look at Facebook on our three profile time frame set of charts out here. So price below the bottom of its daily bullish structured profile below the weekly and this says that uh, facebook could be targeting 292.75 that's its next level of support and that's the monthly bottom of that box hector goes on to say happy thirsty thursday back at you my friend facebook you want to load up and buy the uh, d point um isn't this setting up a, a textbook dead cat bounce right here right now um let me pull over the other charts here for facebook so let's go take a look at the daily time frame first and on the daily time frame, uh, right now you're getting a bottoming signal. Now, this is, depends on what the candle session looks like at the end of today's trading. But uh, here's what Facebook has done. Formed a TD9 count top. It is now pulled back to its breakout level of support. That was 303.57. The actual low on the day is 308.11. You um, so, and that's the second breakout level. We can see how prices stretched. We've got that Rose Momentum indicator signal. And if you do get a bearish reversal candle today, that would confirm a bottom. Now, you asked about the dead cat bounce, and so if we get this bullish reversal candle here. First battle of resistance is going to be at 321 and change. That's the oscillator and change line. Above that, you then get back into that bullish structured daily profile. Dead cat bounces will end at the center of a bullish structured profile. So the dead cat bounce that you're asking about here, Hector, is at 330.77 out here. Is this an oversold kind of a bounce or something like that? Maybe that was really the words that you were trying to use or what have you. But, but for me, the dead cat bounce here is where is the resistance level? And it's very clear inside of Facebook because it gave us the benefit of that bullish structured profile. Once you close below that, that's where the make it or break it level is. Now, not that the bottom can't be a level of resistance. It most certainly is. So we'd say between 325.39 and 330.77. That's the daily time frame. Monthly chart out here, we're not going to see any kind of a bottom signal other than price pulling back to its breakout level of 303.57. But back to the short-term time frame, right? Because we see some signals on the daily time frame. So we want to understand what's going on short. Because if you're going to really form some type of bottom with any kind of meaning, we should see those similar signals on some or all 
of the short-term time frames. Turns out in the 30-minute, you have a confirmed rose momentum indicator bottom. Price is above the uh, profile level, the top of it at 314. This says that 330, uh, 21 is a level that this could easily bounce up to. The 65-minute time frame, you've got the same, a confirmed rose momentum indicator bottom with a bullish hammer candle. Price right now taking on resistance at the 317 and change. Let me get you the exact number out here, Hector. That's at 3. 317.02. You get above that, price moves higher. 130, 130 minute time frame. What do we have out here? Not much. So we'll just simply move on. And on the 195 minutes, you've got a confirmed roads mint to indicator bo uh, bottom. With the uh, battle being at 317 and change, really called flutes called 318. You get above that, that says price could easily move up to the 337 level. So back to your question with regard to uh, Facebook, which is you really want to load up on this thing. Um, wait till tonight for sure. Let's wait to see how Apple trades. Um, you know, let's wait to see how Apple trades. If uh, if we and the reason is because if we can get the breakout signal, the breakout of the consolidation, um, Hector, then uh, you know Facebook will probably go along with that. And again, those signals that I'm referring to are these patterns right here. Right now, we know that the NQ is attempting. To break above that and the NQ a close above again yesterday's high and price trade above that is going to be the first signal of a, a breakout that's underway that could take the NQ up to the 16 928 level we are in that favorable seasonal cycle and uh, what the global capitalists are loving they're loving Uncle Joe who only has a framework but what we know about that framework it doesn't include gigantic taxes to corporations and that's what global capital loves to hear that's all you came up with was a framework we'll be right back sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument you have to practice sure but you also need excellent instruction from experts at tfnn you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis and it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis the tiger first mortgage program may be the program for you the best rate on a five-year cd in the country right now according to bankrate.com is paying one percent per year or one thousand dollars per one hundred thousand dollars invested the tiger first mortgage program pays seven percent per year paid monthly on secured high value buildable properties in st petersburg florida the investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First mortgage? The Tiger First mortgage program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First mortgage program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. I think rule number one should be no bills get passed on Halloween or around Halloween. And just to say, you know, is this a trick or a treat out there? But let's get back to the show out here. Daniel writes in. He wants to take a look at Lockheed Martin. His question is very specific. Uh, which direction do we think that Lockheed Martin is moving in? Hey, gigantic move lower a couple days ago with gigantic volume. Talk about a wide range. Of bar. I don't know what Lockheed Martin did, who they shot out there, but uh, they shot themselves in the foot. But let's answer. Answer Daniel's question. The easiest way to answer your question, Daniel, is to take a look at the weekly time frame. Not the weekly time frame that shows up on our screen right now, but this weekly time frame, because it really goes ahead and communicates to you and I what Lockheed Martin is doing, which is just simply consolidating. It's consolidating between TD9 breakdown resistance, that's at 396.61, and TD9 breakout support, and that's at 330. So I don't know if you're long, if you're short, if you're looking to get in, it would be a aggressive trade that would get in right now with that wide range of bar coming back to that weekly level of support but it's pretty clear and you would go ahead and close out the trade if you saw a close below 330. If we look at the short-term time frame charts because those are going to be the only ones that are going to give us any kind of signals out here. A 30 minute we do see a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom so it's at least working off the oversold condition out here but it does look like it wants to continue to move higher. The 65 minute time frame chart the same thing price right now is dealing with the top of its profile and so a close above this level which is 334.17 here 334.18 right now says says I want higher price. 130 minute chart, Rhodes momentum indicator bottom pattern out here. So you've got these signals of at least a counter trend move. Let's say this counter trend move takes you up into about the 341 level. But what you are doing is you are seeing short term signals at a time when price pulls back to a level of support, and that's 330. So here's what we know, Dan. If price gets below 330, this thing is headed south. But right now, price has made its way back to support. The last question that came in was to take a look at Regenerant. REGN is the ticker symbol out here. We can do this relatively quick. Today's going to be bar number eight of a TD9 count, says it could top between today and Monday. Short of that, price wants to go target 656. That's a daily message. The weekly message out here is price is right up at resistance. That's that green oscillator and change line. So a close above 6 13 would be bullish as well and say it wants to continue to motor on higher folks have a terrific thursday join me tomorrow morning eight o'clock sharp we'll see you then